Twitter podcaster Tucker Carlson says Democrats and D.C. He theorizes that the establishment is planning to kill Donald Trump, claiming that this time we are speeding down the path to assassination because permanent Washington has decided they cannot have Trump as president again. And of course, Carlson threw the January 6th episode for good measure. He also threw in some realism. They protested against him, called him names. They accused him twice with ridiculous allegations, exclaimed the far-right nationalist pundit. They made up a lot of fabrications about what happened on January 6 to impeach him again. He got more popular. Then they accused him three more times. And each time his popularity grew. According to Carlson, all the so-called ruling class has to do is kill Trump. If you start with criticism, you go to protest then you go to accusations. Now you go to indictment and none of it works. So, you know, chart it out. Man. Frankly. We're hurtling toward assassination and no one's going to say it. He added I don't see how you can't come to that conclusion. You know how it is. They decided on permanent Washington. Both parties decided there was something in Trump that threatened them and they couldn't have it. His claim that they were conspiring to kill the current presidential candidate came after he asked Trump the same question during friendly Twitter chats. They started with protests against you. Mass protests. Organized protests by the left. And then they went to impeachment twice, Carlson told Trump. And now the indictment. So the next stage is violence. Frankly. His gushy biography, for example, sold only 3,000 copies in its first week it made almost no noise on the bestseller lists. In addition to his candid interview with Trump, Carlson further leaned into the controversy by making obsequious exchanges blaming Hungarian autocrat Viktor Orban and human trafficker Andrew Tate.